My name is Virginie, I'm the home editor at Chatelaine, and today I've got a quick and easy project to turn some favorite childhood items into beautiful art for your home. The tools you'll need for this is a shadow box, usually found at photo developing stores or Pottery Barn, Ikea, the Bay, places like that. And then whatever favorite item you want to frame, in this case some baby boots. We've got some adhesives that we're going to use to adhere the item to the shadow box. Some papers, there's some foam cores, some mat board, and some fabric, and those are going to be used to kind of layer the background. Cutters, pencils, rulers, everything you'll need to cut your foam core into uh, place. And then some kind of decorative items, in this case, scrabble tiles. The first step is to create a background for the project. So I've cut a piece of foam core to fit the inside of the box. I've actually made it a tiny bit smaller to compensate for the thickness of the fabric. And then I've taken a piece of scrap fabric and I've just cut it about uh, an inch and a half bigger than the foam core. The thing to do is to start with the corners and so fasten those into place. You can use good old duct tape or packing tape and secure it into place. I've got the four sides all upholstered. I'm just going to make a little piece of double sided tape here, nothing fancy. I'm just wrapping it up onto itself so it's sticky all around and then open up my box and pop it into place. I've now got a beautiful upholstered background that coordinates with the shoes that I'll be framing. Most shadow boxes come in standard sizes, so you should be able to find a mat that fits inside. I've actually cut one out of mat board using a straight blade. You can also use a mat cutter. So I've got a mat that's cut to size with an opening about an inch and a half larger than the final project. And then again, to create a little bit more visual interest, I'm creating a shadow line and the way I'm doing that is I've taken a piece of foam core, I've cut it again to the size of the box and created an opening that's about a half an inch bigger all around than the opening on my mat. I'm now going to secure the mat to the foam core mat using glue dots or any double sided tape. I find glue dots really easy to use because you just put them down on the surface and then lift the tape up and the dot is left there with the sticky edge. I'm now just going to place the mat on top. Again, using glue dots, I'll just be fixing some on the back and just put that into place. The next step is now to actually affix your little items into the shadow box. I've chosen these uh, little booties. They're French imported linen shoes. We could use glue dots, but I think this time I'm going to use a tape called terrifically tacky tape which sticks anything to anything. So we'll just fix the tape onto place and then just pull the top layer right off. And then when both shoes are done, we just put them right into place. At this stage, the project could be finished, but I think it's fun to take it just a little extra step and actually label it with your child's name. I've chosen Scrabble Tiles and using our favorite glue dots again, I'm just going to affix the scrabble ties underneath the shoes just to spell out Oliver. My feeling is that you often get items that are so special when you get a baby and it's always a shame to put them away so framing them like this is a really great way to keep that memory alive. At this point the project is finished. We can just close it up and put it on the wall or if you're feeling especially generous, wrap it up and give it a great gift.